when it comes to performance, all Galaxy S10 models are equal. Just some are more equal than others. Today we're going to look at the Galaxy S10e with the Exynos 9820 and pitch it against the Sony Xperia XZ2 with the Snapdragon 845. Which one do you think will win? Well, let's find out. On the left-hand side, we have the Galaxy S10e with the Exynos 9820 processor. On the right-hand side, we have the Sony Xperia XZ2 or XZ2, if you're from North America, with the Snapdragon 845. And as I'm saying that already, the S10e is building a bit of a lead. It was the first into the SQL Lite test. It's now into the JSON test, while the Xperia XZ2 is still into that SQL Lite test. It really is taking its time there. It's now into the JSON test, while the S10e is into the compression test so this is looking very favorable for the s10e will it be able to basically beat the snapdragon 845 in the sony xperia xz2 without any problem at all so the s10e is still in the lead as we're into that 16 thread test both the exynos 9820 and the snapdragon 845 are both octa-core processors so that 16 thread test shouldn't be a problem there and it has proved not to be the uh samsung s10e is already into the blur test which of course is the beginning of the mix cpu g GPU section of this test and as I said that the uh, XZ2 is now into the 16 thread test as the Exynos is now into the smoke particle test the S10 is into the smoke particle what framework we're going to get there 19 frames a second worth mentioning that both devices are running here on full HD plus and already we see the S10 is now gone into the UT test and leaving the uh, XZ2 way behind there as it's still into the blur test it's got to go through the infinite scrolling list and it's got to go through the smoke particle test yet but Look at the uh, S10e, that is pretty bad there. A lot of jittering, a lot of jolting there. Oh, it seems to have improved slightly now as it's gone through that UT test up now. Oh, and back down. Oh, look, it's almost stopping there. A 14 frames a second on the right-hand side. So again, it was looking good for the S10e. But as I'm saying this now, the uh, Xperia has now gone into UT test. Will it be able to do a smoother run up here and catch up with the S10e as we go now to the end? End of the valley it's now going to go into the unreal test and we can see a much smoother performance on the right hand side by the snapdragon 845 in the sony it's flying now through it's coming into that valley and it will now go into the unreal this could come down to the line this could really come down to the line how well is the s10e handling this forest scene it seems to be much smoother on the right hand side much more fluid who's going to get to the end of the path first this is really going to go us down to the last moment here who's going to win who's going to be the winner and then we go the s10e with two minutes 28.2 and just a second or two behind it the sony with two minutes 30.3 okay let's break down those times and see exactly what happened there so as we saw the s10e won two minutes 28.2 and then just just over two seconds later, the Sony came in with two minutes 30.3. But what happened? So if we look at the CPU score, we can see a good start here by the S10e, 47.8 seconds compared to one minute 7.4 seconds. So the CPU looking strong there in the S10e. And then when we get to the mixed CPU GPU time, again, a good win by the Galaxy S10e, 25.8 seconds compared to 33.7 seconds. But then when we get to the GPU, it all goes the other way around. One minute 14.5 seconds for the s10e and only 49.1 seconds for the sony which means all of that lead that it built up through the cpu test and the mix test got whittled away until only barely did it win just there by two seconds at the very end the galaxy s10e two minutes 28.2 my name is Gary Sims. This is Speedtest G. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider sticking around. Hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, do give it a like. Also, don't forget, if you like things on Twitter, there is a Twitter account, Speedtest underbar G. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.